Hello everyone and welcome back to Painting with Martin. Today we're going to have a very quick and very easy uh, reconstructive paint shop, uh, painting of um, Mice and Mystics, the board game. And today we're actually going to look at not just the board game itself, but we're going to look at how you actually paint something that is um, was painted before. And in front of you as here we have a primed and ready um, cockroach or whatever you kind of like bug um, uh, miniature. Um, I've primed it over and I'm going to show you what it was look like and before I actually uh, before I'm actually uh, going to uh, show you how to paint it. And a friend of mine actually had this one painted before. He painted them blue. Um, um, not my friend, but uh, a friend of his painted them blue. He didn't like this color and he didn't think uh, the sci-fi look of the cockroach actually fitted his uh, game. So he said to me, could you please, Martin, uh, have a look at them and paint them so they actually look like roaches and not something like that came out of a sci-fi movie. So I said, sure, I'll take a look at it for you. I'm going to consult uh, this one when it comes to um, the artwork. And the artwork only gives you a small picture of what actually a roach will look like. Um, so it doesn't really give much to give on. But right now here on page 13 in the rule book, this is how you see the roaches, how they look in the game. And it's very, very different from this uh, miniature. So uh, with this said, I'm going to try and paint and give you what we call a reconstructive uh, paint shop, um, paint, a reconstructive painting when it comes to um, uh, the roaches from Mice and Mystics, the board game. And to do this, of course, I'm going to put the rule book back for a bit. Um, I've chosen to prime this uh, roaches in black. I can see here I've already started painting them, so it's going to be a little bit easy to follow. I prime them black, and I actually am going to paint the black um, uh, one. That's so my hand here, and I'm going to choose a color for them. It's called uh, Mournfing Brown from Citadel, and I'm going to apply it diluted 50% of water. My water pot over here. And I'm using a size 2 brush from Winsor & Newton Cotman series, which is really good, uh, a synthetic series. I've used them before. If you follow this channel, you can see that actually I have been using them quite a bit. So putting down some paint from my palette, you can put, see that the paint is a very, very, um, it's quite thick, but it's also not too thick, so that I don't obscure the detail already. And the reason I prime them over is that you can do two things when it comes to taking the paint off. Either you can prime them in a new primer, or you can use some kind of chemical uh, dissolvement so you can actually get the paint off. I'm not really good with paint, uh, chemicals, so in this case I've chosen to prime it black instead. And I'm going to uh, put this uh, uh, color, uh, more from brown, over the entire miniature. And if it's if it's very thin, uh, you can actually use two layers here. Uh, cover the legs very very basically. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to use other colors as well. And something like this. Now it's looking <laughs> very blobby and very brownish, but we're going to make sure we cover some of those details afterwards as well. So this is what it looks like when it's more or less with this color, more from brown. Then when the paint is dry, I'm also going to put uh, another color called a red leather from uh, from uh, Vallejo and use it on this um, part of the the miniature. I've already done it here, so you don't have to do. I don't have to do it again. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it's brown uh, from the morphing brown and almost finished, and it's quite dry. I put this one, the, the red leather, over the parts of the head, and then it's done. Um, then for the next stage, I'm going to use a color called uh, Zandri Dust from Citadel, and I'm going to use it also diluted uh, with um, about fifty. 25% water. So I still want it fairly thick, but not too thick. Uh, and I'm going to put it over parts of where you saw from the pictures uh, of the rubble, kind of like the uh, main, um, like the I don't know, it was the end of this um, this this figure, as well as also these kind of like lines here, touching it very. Just doesn't have to be perfect. 
If you if the paint is too uh, too thin, you can add some more paint to it. But um, which I'm going to do here. It's got a little bit too thin. Mix it in. Uh, wait until it's dry and apply it again. Uh, with the same color, I'm also going to put uh, the paint on the legs to make sure they are standing out more. Sometimes you make mistakes with it uh, and you can touch it up as you go. doesn't have to be perfect, but it looks a little bit better than the blue color, which is not wrong in any way. It's just that my, my friend didn't want them to look like sci-fi cockroaches in a game that is obviously a fantasy. Um, and putting it like this, something like this. When this one is done and you leave it to dry, I'm going to pretty much coat the entire miniature in a um, in a shade called Agrix Earth Shade from Citadel. Um, I already pre-painted this one over here so you can see what it looks like and it looks like this when it's all dry um, and therefore I'm going to put this one undiluted over the entire miniature and it's uh, going to soak this miniature make sure that you get it all into all the nooks and crannies it's going to uh, make sure that it gives it a little bit of shade and definition. And you want it to pull in the recesses on the side of this small miniature. Make sure that you get it under it as well. If you feel that you put too much on it, leave it on a piece of paper and soak it up with a wet, dry, with a wet brush, like I do here. Go on, off and like this, maybe still a little bit too much, something like this. All right, after you leave this one to dry, we're gonna go on straight to the highlights. And that's how you go, uh, I should have said this in the beginning, first base colors, then shades, and the fine finishing touches. So when this one is done and dry, you will actually see this is what it actually looks like. It looks fairly okay right now, but I still want it to look a little bit better than just okay. And I'm gonna start by applying the first base colors again, starting with, in this case, uh, red leather on the towards the head. And I'm applying this one undiluted. Um, it's a really nice color from, from, from Vallejo. And giving it just a small bit. And you can see here that putting it over here and over here. You can get these stripes here, um, making sure that the more the, the red leather is showing on 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 the sides here as well in between. Okay, that's the first step. You can apply this in small a few small stages, and you can even add a little bit of white to make sure how far you want to go with these highlights. I'm just going to show you the very basic one. When it comes to Morn from Brown, I'm going to uh, apply it undiluted as well to some parts of the color showing in between here. So in this case I'm going to apply it on parts of the sides here And of course, on the tips of these uh, kind of like legs or claws. If you feel it's pooling too much, don't be hesitating to reapply it again. Now, I'm also going to apply a Zendri dust on it. You can definitely also choose to apply some Shapti bone from, from Citadel for these ones as well. But I'm going to go with just the base colors and this is what a shapti bone looks like but i'm going to go for uh, zandra dust which is a little bit darker um and i'm applying it undiluted with very small tips you should preferably wait until it's fully dry try to leave some of the shading in the recesses here as well as the top one
put some things on the legs. And then a little bit of back on the head this or back on the the towards the butt of this one's something like this. Finally for the claws I'm going to apply something called pure black from from Vallejo, and that's pure black from Vallejo, and not applying it with and uh, applying it undiluted. So then it sh shows something like this. Still leaving the original Mournful Brown here in between. You can add some red leather if you want to touch up some of the areas, which is perfectly fine as well. Now with this entire miniature is, has been left to dry, you can uh, apply some base coating. And you can either do that with some sterling mud or some uh, other base coating material from Citadel as you choose. In this case I've chosen a different one called Agrellum Badland and it's a very thick textured uh, paint so be careful not to use your best brushes for this one uh, make sure that you use a brush that maybe you've used a couple of times before such as an old brush almost like a dry brush and you do that uh, by simply going to use this one here which I haven't because the other one is still drying I'm going to apply it across a few, the sides of this miniature. We can use it in between here as well. Then as the final stage, you coat this one with grey, German dark grey, or just black, or leave it black. No idea to do it. And then final seal before you actually everything is actually done. You apply some diluted 50% um, um, matte varnish and 50% water, and then you're done with this miniature. Uh, as you can see here. It looks, if you compare these two without the base, of course, you'll be the judge of what you see. I still really like the blue one, it's really nice, but I think the left one looks more like a cockroach. Um, if you like this video, please don't hesitate to click the like button and also sharing, and I really appreciate if you could do subscribing as well, it helps my channel grow. And if you think that I've done anything wrong or you think that I should have done something better or even if you just have some nice comments, please put them down in the comment section below here. And um, if you want to hear more about what, what I want to pay in paint or uh, you want to get updated, please click that bell button uh, in the right hand corner of the video as well. Otherwise, uh, please go and put some paint on those brushes and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.